Hey everybody, Austin, back again with another Let's Play video. As you can tell here, it is the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the 8-bit Nintendo. Now, this is actually a game I sort of, not really rediscovered, but sort of revisited after a very long hiatus. It's been a really long time since i played this game, up until about last week or so. Uh, as some of you guys know, I, I live in Chantilly, Virginia, and it's right down the street from eStarland.com. Now, East Starland actually started off as just a local retail chain in the Northern Virginia, Fairfax, Annandale, Centerville area, and a certain part of Maryland. Uh, they eventually closed down their main retail stores and opened up a online store, an e-commerce website. Uh, eventually, though, they reopened a sort of local location uh, for the locals to buy games in person. And now they've sort of expanded into this big showroom sort of area, and they've got a bunch of games you can play and all that sort of stuff. And I was out there shopping last week, and they had Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles playing on their 8-bit Nintendo on a big LCD flat screen uh, TV. A really big picture, it was kind of cool actually. And while I was uh, having them process a trade-in, I decided to go ahead and hit start, play the game, since I haven't played it in a long time. and. Man, like a half an hour later, I was already at like stage three and making some nice progress through the game. Um, so that actually kind of got me to buy the game again. Uh, one thing I've actually wanted to do is, even though I'm not really hoarding video games anymore and not going for massive collections unless it's the Dreamcast, uh, one thing I have wanted to do is actually start collecting complete in-box 8-bit Nintendo games. Specific ones that I played a lot as a kid that I have, you know, nostalgic ties to, that I'm just nostalgic about, and games I still enjoy playing today. And the Ninja Turtles series is one of those, and so, after playing the first one at Starland, I found out they actually had a complete in-box copy of the original, and I bought it. So I decided to go ahead and start that complete in-box NES collection, uh, and I have a couple games right now, including this. And, uh, since I played that, and I got quite a few levels in, you know, I figured, hey, it's fresh to me again. I should go ahead and do a Let's Play video while, well, it's still fresh to me, so. Now, let me just say that Ninja Turtles, uh, has never been a game that I've been able to complete. I've beaten parts 2 and I've beaten parts 3, but those are more of your traditional beat-em-up fare. Actually, they were really innovative when they came out, but now they're just considered your traditional beat-em-up fare. This game, though, is a pretty pretty challenging game. It's not a, a beat-em-up like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the arcade game is. It's not like that, and it's only one player. And it's strictly side-scrolling, two-dimensional in the truest sense. Uh, it's also a very unique game, though. There aren't too many NES platformers that are like Ninja Turtles. The original Ninja Turtles has a very unique feel. And while the game, I don't think, gets uh, a lot of respect, I think it's a really, really awesome game. It's because of its quirks and its uniqueness, like how you jump, how you attack, just the slicing sound that's made when you slice through enemies. And you'll hear that as, you know, I progress through the game. So, anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into the game. As you can see, I'm already on the main overworld. And the game's actually divided up into stages. And uh, the stages bounce between top-down perspective overworld areas and no well, actual side-scrolling areas. And if you hit start, you can actually go to an options screen. If you look in the left-hand corner of the screen, that's actually the map for the whole stage. Now there's a whole variety of little like sort of mini stages, basically buildings you can go into, um, that make up this entire first stage, or as it says in the top, area one. Now I don't remember how many areas there are in the game, how many overall overarching stages there are. I think there's five, maybe, maybe four, maybe five. I was at area three the other day, and area three is really, really big. Um, and we'll, we'll definitely get to that in this video. But uh, not to get too, too far ahead of myself, on this option screen you can actually select multiple turtles. And um, they all have their perks, sort of. Actually, you know what, now that I think about it, Raph and Mike are kind of useless. <laughs> 
No, that's not true. Raph is actually good because his size can actually go over his head. And Mike, he can do that with the, uh, the nunchucks, but they're not quite as useful. They don't stay up in the air as long, so it's harder to hit enemies with it. Overall, though, uh, Leonardo and Donatello are the best characters in this game, in my opinion. Donatello's got a slow attack, but it's the longest, and it almost feels like it's the most powerful. I don't know if it is or not, but it almost feels like it. Like, when his bow comes out and hits an enemy, it's almost like you feel it, which is something not a lot of NES games were able to sort of uh, convey or and portray. Um, so, let's go ahead and just stick with Leonardo for now. And on the overworld section, you can actually attack, and there are these big-ass... Uh, <laughs> truck sort of things that can run you over. And every time they run you over, it, you know, takes away health and whatnot. Your health is actually at the bottom of the screen. So we definitely don't want to get hit by those guys, so we'll just go down here and start our first uh, side-scrolling segment. Now there's uh, some... Oh, jeez, it's been so long since I've actually watched a Ninja Turtle show or movie that I don't remember. Mouser! Those are called Mousers, I believe. That's right. Uh, those are really popular enemies in the TV show, uh, cartoon series, and they're all over the place in this game. Um, uh, the, one of the interesting things about Ninja Turtles, uh, the first game, is that you've got a couple familiar enemies and a couple familiar villains, but there's also a lot of uh, <laughs> unfamiliar enemies and just things that are really kind of weird and off the wall that you'll see as the game progresses. And I don't know if that's just like, you know, Japanese Konami having taken a lot of liberties with uh, enemy designs and whatnot, but yeah, you'll, you'll see what I mean. If you're a fan of the Ninja Turtles series and you maybe haven't played this game too much, uh, you'll kind of see what I mean as... Uh, <laughs> as we progress on. Now, right there is pizza. Now, pizza, like in any Ninja Turtles game, is awesome. It actually gives you life back. And the small slices like that give you a couple pellets. It looks like it gives you two pellets back. And um, one thing that's good in this game is if you uh, exit a stage and you go back in, the pizza returns. So you can actually sort of grind areas to rebuild your health, like this, and now I have full health again. And that is actually something you'll probably see me doing later on in this video. Um, and that actually leads me into one other trait that I want to mention, is that each turtle has their own life bar. And if their life runs out, the turtle gets captured, and you actually lose them. Now, there is a way to recapture the turtle, and I know you could do that on Area 3, but I think that's very limited as to how many times you can do that through the game. I think there's only like one or two instances where you can actually recapture a, uh, a, a kidnapped turtle. So, what you want to do is when your health is low with one turtle, you don't want to risk losing them. You want to switch over to another turtle. Yeah, you might not like playing as Raph or Mike, or Donatello might even just be too slow for you. Man, that goes long. Um, but you want to save all your turtles if you can. Because, well, you don't want to be down to one turtle and then be at a situation where you just get demolished and destroyed and you get a game over. I'm pretty sure you can continue in this game, but when you continue, it might start you all the way back at the beginning of the map, and it might be kind of difficult to make, you know, progress again. Or maybe not so much difficult, but it might be pretty annoying to make all that progress again. So, let's go ahead and go down here. And as you can see, Donatello's attack is just super long in this game. And I think he's, Don, playing as Donatello, I think is really a favorite for a lot of uh, fans of this game, a lot of people that play this game, just because his bow is so long. And you can jump over enemies, you can slice through multiple enemies in one hit. Like these guys. Bam, three at once. Good stuff. Your jumps, you can jump really light, you can jump a little bit higher, you can jump really high. It's almost got like a sort of analog kind of feel, but it's really, it's just based on how long you hold the button. And at a certain point, it doesn't really matter how long you hold the button anymore. But right here, these jumps, its that's all me just tapping the button lightly, as light as I can. But once you get up into the spinning motion, that's it. Hmm. 
Donatello, I think you can even attack. Yeah. You see how his bow comes out behind him? It'll still hit enemies, so... That's something really good to know. Is the other turtles can't do that. So, that's what Donatello is just awesome in this game. So, I definitely highly recommend getting used to playing as him. And, uh, just getting used to his bow. Even though it's a little slow, it, it's worth it. It's nice and powerful. It has a big reach, which is really important at certain parts, like right here. What the hell are those things, man? If those were in a Ninja Turtles cartoon, please let me know, but they don't look like anything familiar to me. Same with that guy right there. I don't ever remember a chainsaw guy. Not... Yeah, I don't ever remember a chainsaw guy. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I have full health, so even I don't even know why I'm going up there. Who cares? Doesn't really matter. I've got full health. The only reason I would really come to this uh, little mini stage right here is to get that full pizza. And the full pizza, re well, basically replenishes all of your life. So... Full pizzas are really awesome in this game. And this game also seems to have really big hitboxes, so keep that in mind when you're attacking. You don't always have to slash down or slash up. Uh, like with Leonardo, I was just able to stand on that platform and just attack the guy. And even though it didn't look like it hit him directly on, it still hit him. It still registered as a full hit, so... I was able to kind of play it safe and still attack the guy. So that's something to really keep in mind. Yeah, Donatello is definitely more powerful, because he killed those guys in two hits, and Leonardo killed him in, uh, four hits. So it's one hit, two hits, yeah. Well, Donatello is definitely more powerful. Definitely more powerful. Now, you do get points in this game, so you can kind of grind away at points if you're playing for high score, but... It is kind of broken in that regard. Like, if I wanted to, I could just go back here, do it again. And just grind for- ooh, that, that's a good weapon, actually. You get secondary weapons in this game as well, and they're actually limited on- limited on ammunition. And you really want to get the, uh, the boomerangs if you can. They're really good, and I'll demonstrate why later on in the game. But for now, let's just keep making progress. We're actually kind of towards the end of things already on this stage. And this is just sort of me demonstrating that you can destroy these things. It's not really worth it. I don't even know if you get any points. Yeah, it doesn't even display your score right here, so it's kind of hard to tell. Let's go down here. Like, what the hell are these things? I, I don't remember anything like that in the cartoon, or the movie for that matter. But this is based off the cartoon. I think this was actually before... I think this was actually before the movie came out. When did the original Ninja Turtles movie come out? It was like 90 or 91. Pretty sure it was the 90s. Early, early 90s. So yeah, this is based on... Uh, pretty much a television series. Now what's funny is they actually use the, uh... Sort of the art from, uh... One of the older comics on the front cover of the game. If I recall correctly. But, uh... The, ga the game itself is actually, I think, based on the cartoon series. Last thing lets me spin around it. Let's me kill guys in one hit, like so. I'm sort of like a little mini boss, and I don't even know what I'm doing here. That was a dead end. Absolutely nothing to see. <laughs> nothing to see here. All right, so this is where you want to do Leo or Don, so you can swipe down like so. Now, what's actually really interesting about this game, and. I'll tell you what that is in just a moment. That's right, kill this guy. Wow! Mike, yeah, Mike is definitely weak. Mike, you suck. <laughs> You're awful. And you gotta be really on point with that if you wanna kill those guys. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? As I know we're taking our sweet time now, I'm gonna go, go ahead and refresh um, Mike's health. And we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna go back here. Let's 
those guys that sort of, uh, you know, curl up, you can only hit them when they're walking around and shooting at you, so that's something to keep in mind. Alright, so back to Mike. This pizza here is gonna give him all his health back, like so, so... Uh, going back and sort of, uh, you know, sacrificing some time to get your extra pizza... It's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Let me pick Raph, because he's got the, uh... The throwing stars. And you can actually hit select to disable your, uh... Your specials. Some specials are better than others. Like, the, the throwing stars, they're cool. But the problem is they run out of ammunition. See, 11, 10, 9... Like so. Um, the boomerangs, though, they'll actually throw out and then come back. And if you catch them, you get it back. So if you have one left, you throw it out, you have zero. It says you have zero. But if you catch it, you'll have one again. Which is really cool. You don't, you don't really see that in uh, games of the era. So we got done. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. And then we'll go ahead and grab that pizza above. Remember, that one is worth two pellets, so now all my turtles are full on health. And that right there is why Donatello kicks ass in this game. His reach is just absurd. What I'm gonna do is use Mike with the boomerangs. See, there's, there's me throwing the boomerangs, right? Alright, I have 20. Now I have 18, now I have 20 again. But, if I miss it, I lost it, it's gone. So you really want to catch all your boomerangs that you can. Uh, but I guess it doesn't really matter that much as long as you catch most of them. Because, you know, you got 18, 20, slash, to, uh, to, to screw up on. So, something to keep in mind. Whoa. Alright, we're making progress. We're actually pretty much at the end of the stage. Now, this is sort of... <laughs> the explanation portion of this Let's Play. I'm trying to sort of explain how the game works. The rest of it should hopefully go a little bit faster. And more appropriately so. I mean, the, the other stages in the game are much, much longer than this is. So, let's go ahead and switch back to Don. Take advantage of Donatello's reach uh, to play it safe at specific segments like that. No point in getting down there and trying to kill those guys head on. Because uh, Don can just attack right through the floor and kill him that way. I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, sort of infamous uh, way to beat Rock Steady here. Just sit down here with Don and just keep attacking. Rock Steady will keep. Jumping into it. The hitbox is actually so big. Like so. That it still hits him. Even though he's not really touching it. Oops. <laughs> it's not really necessary because he's not that hard. With Don's reach, you can just jump over him and slash down and you'll still attack him. Um... But alright, now we're on to area two, and this is the dam. This is actually a pretty straightforward stage, so nothing too complicated here. You basically go inside the dam, uh, you end up up top, and then uh, afterwards, you have to go into the water and basically uh, disarm a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of uh, explosive devices down there. Now, I should be able to do that, hopefully in my first try, because I did it just a few weeks ago on my first try after having not played the game in, oh, such a long time. I don't even remember how long it's been. It's been a really, really long time. It's especially been a, a much longer time since I've actually made progress in the game. Now, I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, but I've never actually beaten the first Ninja Turtles uh, on the 8-bit Nintendo. It's, uh... 
it was always a really difficult game for me, and it gets pretty, pretty damn challenging later on in the game. I mean, there's just some really, really tricky segments. Uh, lots of sort of frustrating, almost instant death scenarios. And you're gonna you're gonna see some of those more frustrating segments uh, pretty soon, actually. So I am I am probably not going to finish this game on this let's play. Just just a forewarning. If I do finish it, then that's amazing because I've never beaten this game before. <laughs> but it's it's not gonna happen. Just trust me when I say it's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna get my hopes up either because it's it's not gonna happen. Uh, I'm going to be able to make some good progress on these first few stages just because they're they're definitely the stages I'm more familiar with and the farther we get into the game the less familiar I'm going to be with the game. So so Mike has less health. I'll go ahead and give him the pizza. And we'll go ahead and use his uh his boomerang since I have it. And again, like I said the boomerang's really really good. That's actually a really tough little jump right there. You want to try to jump as close to the edge of the platform as you can. Uh, like in a lot of Nintendo games, you can kind of sit on the edge a tiny, a tiny bit. Well, not, actually not much at all in this game. But what's interesting about this is you can kind of jump right at the edge as you're sort of falling off of it. But it doesn't look like you can really sit on the edge like you can in, say, like a Mega Man game. Yeah, you fall off right away. No Mega Man or Castlevania in that regard, <laughs> where you, half your body is hanging off the uh, the edge. All right, so this is the second part of it. Oh come on, man! And you have to be really fast at this part, and you have to be really on point. And you need to disarm these explosive devices. But you also have to kind of take your time because there's these uh, electrical fields that will do some really fast damage. So watch out for those. We'll go up this way first. Yeah, you only have like two and a half minutes to do it, so. Pretty sure there's one down here. Be careful about those things right there. They uh, are bad. <laughs> I don't remember if there's another one over here or not. No. I just wasted time. So let's just skip through those, get hurt a little bit. <laughs> get hurt a lot. I've got other turtles. I just don't want to lose on this, uh... I'm gonna switch to another turtle. I know that was dumb to just kind of run through those, but I think I, I sacrificed some time by going the wrong way, so... And this was a tricky part. Ooh, that's not good. Just tap uh, your, your buttons lightly, sort of finesse your way through. And I'm not too concerned about getting hurt too much because, again, remember those stages, you can just kind of infinitely replenish your health. And so that, I'm not too worried about that. But there is a little bit of a draft here, so you have to really time it just right, otherwise you're going to get hit. I mean, this game is definitely no joke. It's not a, an easy game by any, any stretch of the word. Uh, if, especially if you want to try to get through the game without getting hurt, without getting hit, you've got to be really, really on point. And I remember this this level especially used to give so many of my friends trouble back in the day. Let me switch so I don't die. It used to give me so many of my friends trouble back in the day. And it gave me trouble too, to a degree, but uh... I remember picking up on this stage much, much faster than my friends did, and I was able to progress farther into the game than my, any of my friends did. But even with that, I still never beat the game back in the day. So... Mm. 
Now, I did get to the uh, the Technodrome, the last boss in the game, uh, when I was older, a uh, late teen, maybe even in my early 20s, when I was collecting NES games. But I never did beat the Technodrome, so technically I've never beaten the game. <laughs> I love that his hands coming out of the television. <laughs> I wonder if that's a limitation, or if it was done on purpose. <laughs> I kind of like the effect, though. Alright, so we're at the 27 minute mark. You know, I have a feeling I'm probably not going to beat this stage. This is where I got a game over the other day when I was playing at Starland. And, uh, yeah, Area 3 now. Uh, this is where I got a game over when I was playing at Starland the other day. But, um, alright. Basically, the goal of this one is to get to the end of the stage, which is kind of in the center of the, the whole map playfield. Um, but what you need to do is also get your vehicle here, which can shoot, but you also need to rack up missiles to get through roadblocks. And if you look in the, the left-hand corner of the screen, uh, there's a missile icon with a, a, a number beneath it. Right now, it's at zero, but once I go through one of the, the first uh, screens here, one of the first mini-level segments, I can uh, get some of those missiles. So we definitely don't want to go there. And this is where the difficulty starts kicking up in terms of like enemy brutality and things like that. Enemies become much more challenging, a little more tricky to take down, and you'll see why in just a few moments. So let's actually go back this way. Guess we have to go to one of these buildings here to get some missiles. And what I might do is just do it a couple times to sort of, um, you know, rack up on my missiles really fast. Just get a ton of them. Actually, this section was where there's some pizza. So what I'm probably going to do is go through this place a few times. Like, there's a slice up here. I'm going to use that for Dawn. Since Don's health is mostly close to full. And I know there's like a half a slice up top, so... Now these guys kind of suck. You attack them and they turn into these flying missile-like things and... Ah, uh, they're some of my least favorite enemies just because they take... Well... Precision to kill. <laughs> It's like, Austin, you don't like being skillful? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I can be lazy sometimes. I'll definitely admit that. I'll be the first to admit I can be lazy sometimes. <laughs> actually, I can be lazy a lot of the time. And I've been actually very la lazy lately. As you guys know, I haven't had a real review in a very, 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 very long time. Even though I've kind of promised them. But truth be told, it's the laziness getting to me. I sit down, I try to write a review, and, well, yeah, laziness gets to me, so. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to try to exit this, and then do it all over again. So we can keep getting that full pizza. Get everybody's health back up, back in good standing. I know this one isn't quite as cut and dry as uh, some of the other ones earlier on in that first level, but... You know, you do what you can to keep your turtles alive. If you're trying to beat the game without continuing, uh, you definitely want to, well... Go for keeping your turtles alive. So we're going to go back in. Plus, it's, it's giving me the opportunity to actually build up on my missiles, which is really important as well. He's just gonna build up Dawn again, since, you know, whatever. I only need one more big piece of pizza anyway. Now, if you notice, there's actually a lot of flicker in this game. Um, when there's a lot of action on screen, there's a lot of flicker anyway. Look at that bottom of the screen. Once I get a bunch of stuff going on the screen, it starts to get real crazy. 
<laughs> not really in a, in a good way, but um, when there's not a lot going on the screen, then the game's actually pretty uh, pretty solid. It's it looks pretty solid. It's got some cool animation too. Some of the enemies, just like the, those fire guys, seem pretty neat. So. Now, on that jump right there, you want to just walk over it. Kind of like running over, like, little pits in Super Mario Brothers where you don't actually jump. If you actually try to jump, you won't make it, ironically. Um, also, there are some points where I think you can actually get up there by, like, a glitch. I think there's, there's ways to get up there through uh, glitching out. And I don't... I am pretty sure I've done it by total accident back in the past. You know, it's not something you're supposed to be able to do. Um, but yeah, pretty sure it's doable. I'll have to go watch some other videos to just to make sure. So we'll use Don now since he's got these nice projectiles. Which is a good way to stay safe because, you know, the projectiles, they go a quarter of the way across the screen, so... And they can actually hit enemies before you even get to that side of the screen. Which is really good. Alright, uh, the question is, should I do it again to get more missiles? I don't remember how many missiles I have to use, but... And you know what, the map, I'm gonna skip that right-hand side, because I don't remember actually really... I don't remember actually needing anything over there. I don't... I seriously don't remember. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of wing it going this way. Oops. You press B to use your missiles, that's right. And I'm gonna try to conserve my missiles. You can actually use the missiles to kill those vehicles, those big... Um, those big guys right there in one hit, but I, I don't really have a, a need to kill them, because I don't even think I get points for it. And this place up here... I don't think there's actually anything there I really need either. I mean, there's... Yeah, so we're just, we're just gonna skip it. <laughs> just keep making progress. I mean, there might be something there, but I just don't remember now, so we'll just keep going this way. I think some of those places up there, uh, you can actually uh, retrieve a captured turtle. But since we don't have a captured turtle, it doesn't really matter all that much. So, let me keep going around this way. My truck is so big, I still get hit. <laughs> Just using the start button to uh, see where I need to go. <laughs> I like the music in this game. It definitely has a catchy soundtrack. It's catchy at points, it's edgy at points, it's, you know, laid back at points. It's it's pretty cool. Good, good soundtrack. You know, classic Konami stuff, to be honest. This game definitely has some great tunes. Uh, just like any other Konami game. Uh, wait a second. Hmm, maybe I'm supposed to go to one of those other buildings. Well, we'll try this one first. It's been a really, really, really long time since I've gotten past this whole area, this whole map. So, at this point, I'm kind of winging it. This is about as far as I got when I was at Starland the other day, or last week or so. So, 
No, oh, no, not this part. I remember this being really, really annoying. A big pain in the ass. So... Alright, right here you want to just tap your jump button. You have to be really careful, otherwise, if you get knocked into the water, you get thrown all the way back outside of the, uh, the building, so... You gotta be careful. Don's maybe not the best for this part, since he's so slow. That sucked. <laughs> but hey, it worked. Oh, jeez. Talk about a pain, man. That was not fun. <laughs> like I said, this game gets pretty tricky, guys. It's it's not uh, <laughs> not an easy game. You have to be real patient there. Okay, yeah, that is where I'm supposed to go. Okay. Hopefully, this is the end. But, oh, jeez, I'm gonna need some rope, though. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need some rope. We'll find out. If I do, we'll just have to go back. We'll see what happens. Lots of guys for points. Let's get some points! Yeah! You know, I don't think points really do anything. They're just there because they're there. <laughs> points are kind of redundant in this game because you can just grind as much as you want. There's no limit to how many times you can enter or exit a building. And enemies are constantly respawning. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need some rope here. Damn it! Oh. Or not. Whoa there, Hoss. Who the hell is that? If somebody knows who that guy is, uh, let me know. Is he in a TV series? I don't even remember him. Remember the first guy, the Mecha Turtle? But, uh, he's been in, like, almost every Konami Turtles game. He was in Turtles in Time. <sighs> Actually, I don't think he was in the arcade game. I mean, the first arcade game. Okay, maybe he wasn't in every Turtles game. <laughs> Alright! I vaguely, vaguely, vaguely remember this place. Oh, no, not another big map. Oh, no, not another big-ass map! Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh. Alright, guys. Well, you're in for a, a trip, because I have no idea what I'm doing at this place. I'm going to be figuring this out on the fly. Oh, jeez. And this one looks pretty big, too. Destroy the secret base to get the blimp. You have my support. Thanks, April. Oh, boy. Oh. Well, at least they're kind enough to, uh... Give us full pizzas for everybody. Alright, so uh, I'm pretty sure you guys already know what I'm going to do here. <laughs> if you've been watching this Let's Play so far. If you haven't actually been watching, I'm guess uh, I'm guessing you just like the sound of my voice. I'll take compliments for that. <laughs> All right. So we already got Don up, full in health. Oh, hey, look at that! I totally forgot you could do that. That's actually pretty awesome. Alright, three out with Mike. 
And now Don has four because he caught them. That's actually pretty awesome. I totally forgot I could do that. Well, it looks like all the other turtles are pretty good, so we'll go ahead and just flip back over to Leo. Because Leo's got a nice swipe. It's definitely the easiest to hit enemies. But he's not as strong as uh, some of the other guys. Well, he's not as strong as Donatello, at least. I think Raph is actually stronger than uh, Leonardo. But he's super short range, so... Oh, jeez, man. Ah, oh, crap. Keep getting hit by that. I might as well just go back down and get another large pizza for, for Leonardo. Actually, that's what I'm gonna do. Except, when I come back, I'm gonna play as Donatello. Holy crap, there's a lot of guys there. Damn, they're not joking around now. Shoot. Back to Don. Cause Don's got the range, he's got the power. He can just decimate enemies without even touching them, technically. Now, there are actually certain parts in this game where you have to basically go from one building top to another. And that's what the rope is for that I just got. It's the uh, second item on the far right, so... Hey, more boomerangs. I'll take it. What I want to do is actually... This is one of the coolest things about the game. You can just... Oh, it didn't work. That wasn't good. Alright, let me waste these. No one cares about that. Let me waste these. The boomerangs is are where it's at. That's what you want. So I'll kind of distribute them evenly. Back to Don. Now everybody's got boomerangs. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional on Konami's part, but... It was a great idea, regardless. <laughs> this is why you need the rope, right here. So I'm glad they gave me some rope. Because I didn't have any. <laughs> wow, it's a good thing I got, uh... Two of them, because that would have been it. Man, they're getting pretty liberal with the pizza now, but hey, I'll take it. Where are we now? We're up there. Okay. Go to the sewer. Okay, back to the sewers. 
Hey, right, maybe this one isn't as complicated as I thought it was gonna be. Maybe it's pretty straightforward. And looks like you can destroy those uh, laser turret things. Good to know. Back up top. And those planes probably aren't a good thing, so. Oh geez, this is like Death Mountain on Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. We'll try the top one first. These things remind me of the uh, conveyor belts in Double Dragon 2. <laughs> Now I think about it, this whole level kind of reminds me of Jackal now, the final stage. Not good, that hurt. <laughs> Spikes are bad, as always. It's a universal universal rule. Spikes are bad in video games, period. Oh no, I lost my uh boomerang. Damn. I mean I can give him back, but if I really want to use a boomerang, I'll just switch to another character. So where am I now? I'm down on this part. Come back up. I'm actually making progress. I'm already on the other side of the map. I could have sworn I remember getting lost in this place, though. I really don't remember. It's been so long since I've been here. I mean, since I've been here, it's probably been since, like, 2001. 2001, maybe 2002, since the last time I was here. It's been a long time. That was when I was really collecting NES games for the first time. I had a couple hundred games. <sighs> um, but that was really a long time ago. Wow, these mini-bosses are just stupid easy. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I mean, I really don't need difficult levels when... I mean, difficult bosses when the levels themselves are probably going to be really challenging. Which is how it was on Area 3. I have to start playing better, because Donatello is, uh... He's losing life! He's losing life! Going for that pizza. <laughs> You're tempting me. I got some ninja stars to waste, so let's waste them. Oh, crap. Oh, is that it? No, oh, it's dead end anyway. All right. That's good to know. All right. So where were we? Up there. 
All right, so I guess we have to go back down then. And we'll go this way. Do 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 do. Ooh, watch out for those. That's not good. All right. Well, I guess we'll try this one first. Mm, check that out. The boomerangs won't go through walls. Oh no, they will. That was weird, they didn't go through them at first. Interesting. Alright, I'm gonna give some boomerangs to Don. That's three. I know, that's probably hard on the eyes, me switching through the menus that, like that. Combined with the screen flickering. <laughs> Give more to Don, because he's my most used character. Oh, what the hell? Really? Ugh. Let me switch back to the crappiest character. Oh, I made it! That uh, did not look like I would make that jump. Oh, that slowdown's actually helping me. Whoa, full pizza. I will take it, thank you. <laughs> wow, that was not easy. The question is, where am I supposed to go now? Let's try this one. Oh, shit. Magnets. Oh, that can't be good either. That looks like instant death right there. So instant death means switch to mic. <laughs> Holy shit, I was right, unfortunately. Yeah, we're just gonna, uh, you know, skip that part. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, look! I got him back! That was one of those parts where you can, uh, get your turtle back. Oh, jeez, not again. Pizza back. Whew. All right. I don't remember which way I went though. I guess we have to get up into that corner one up there. So I guess we're going back to this place. I haven't gone here yet. Something I haven't touched up on, uh, and it's obviously something that kind of appears more in the earlier stages of the game, is the enemies are actually kind of randomized in this game. The types of enemies that appear are randomized. Sometimes you'll have levels where it's just a bunch of mousers and a bunch of like original Foot Clan kind of guys, 
And then you'll have levels, the same levels when you exit, but then you come back in, that are, you know, like the weird frogs, and like they're the weird fire guys, and they're the different kinds of floating enemies. And that was something that kind of set this game apart from other games. There weren't too many games that had sort of randomized enemies like that. Uh, it was pretty neat. I think it's still kind of neat today. So... Oh, well, I didn't really need that, but alright. Damn. These guys just do not give up. And that totally hit. <laughs> but it didn't reg register. Stuttering time. I've been playing NES games for far too long. <laughs> and it's too late at night. Now I can't talk straight. That's what it's all about. Playing NES games till you can't talk straight. I could definitely use that full pizza now, but nah, it's gone. <laughs> oh shit, this can't be good. Oh, <laughs> did not see that coming. And it's gonna happen again. Well, so much for that pizza. Yeah, I was not expecting that, but I'm assuming this is the end. Towards some kind of boss, I'm guessing. I'm hoping. Alright, no, no Invisa pizza there. Holy crap. I don't even remember this. It doesn't seem like it'd be that difficult. Oh, that sucked. Every time you switch, he, uh... Oh, that's good to know. You sit right in the center, the eyes... Ah-ha-ha! Oh, very good to know. Well, Michelangelo, you've actually been put to use. For a change. Oh, I was gonna try to finish it off with style. <laughs> Overhead attack for the win. As we go through the old Mega Man gate. <laughs> Looks like a Mega Man gate. Go to the enemy base by Blimp. I seriously did not remember that boss, and, you know, that level, that whole area level wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be one big maze, but fortunately no roadblocks or anything like that, you know, no missile gathering. Ugh. Find the way to the underground Technodrome. I don't know where to go, because I haven't been here in, like I said, well over a decade. So this is going to be interesting, guys. And it's already been an hour so far. Wow, it's much longer than I thought it would be.
Ah. I already tell this whole level is going to be really, really annoying. Ay. Just because of those guys, man. Whoa, what the hell is that? It's like a mini crate. What is Metroid doing here? Come on. Get out of this game. You're in the wrong game. Can't be good. Guns. Oh, jeez, was that like a one-hit kill kind of thing? Okay, so I have a feeling that... Uh, I have a feeling that the Technodrome's kind of like randomized based on the stage. Oh, jeez, man, these guys are just killing me. So we'll come back this way, but I have a feeling it's not even going to be there this time. It might be randomized. Oh, that would suck. I'm not in the mood for that right now. That's for damn sure. Oh, no, it's there. Okay, you're supposed to destroy its parts. I've never done that before. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is the final battle, and my lives are like nothing. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I have never been here before in my entire life, so this is kind of cool, provided I don't die, and holy crap, there's guys flying, and that's never a good thing. Uh, especially when they shoot lasers like that, and my characters themselves are extremely kind of crappy with movement. Holy shit! And the bad hitboxes just make it. Oh, well, this isn't fun. <laughs> Crap, man. That is not cool. 
double not cool. Well, this basically looks like a guaranteed game over. Wow, please let me continue. Yes, I get to continue. <laughs> All right, how about I just leave these, uh, you know, normal foot soldiers on in here? That way the, the flying dudes don't come. Same with these guys. I'm just gonna skip the enemies. Hoping that flying guys don't come after me again, because that was a real pain. Oh, shit. There's some pizza over here. See, that's what I'm talking about, the enemies sort of randomizing. Whoa, what, like, the... It's exactly what I'm talking about, and you can't really do anything about that kind of crap. Mmm. The hell? You weren't in the TV show. Not as far as I'm aware. Get out of here, you don't belong here. <laughs> what the hell, man? What the... Seriously? Ah! Oh. Talk about design made just to screw you over. I mean, I guess it's classic, quote-unquote, when it comes to video games, but... Wow. Oh, and a dead end to boot. That's awesome. Alright. Um hmm. <laughs> Going back. And I'm gonna switch my turtle. Try to, oh, jeez, man. Raph, why do you have to be so damn weak? Why is Donatello the only useful turtle in this game? <laughs> why? Why, oh, that was useless. <laughs> or maybe not. Ah, okay, no, it was useful. I thought it would go away once I switched screens. Oh, you can destroy their lasers. Well, that's good to know. Jeez, man. God, they do a ton of damage. God. Fuck, man. This is just some bullshit right here.
There's no way around that. Oh, fuck, man! What the hell? Now, you guys, if you're still watching, you have to agree. That is bullshit. Why, why should I even fucking start over again? Let me just kill myself and hope it gives me a continue. <sighs> we'll try it one more time, but this level is bullshit. I was always under the impression that Technodrome was the last boss in the game. And apparently it's not, and they put you through this bullshit again. Why am I even trying to kill these guys? It doesn't matter. God, that really pissed me off. I mean, that shit was just stupid. I'm gonna have to go watch the Angry Video Game Nerd review on this game and see if some of his complaints are actually legitimate. Like, I, I heard people complaining about this game in terms of difficulty, but I never had a problem with the difficulty. Like, everything, like, I died for was- it felt like my fault, right? But this level is just crap. I mean, your turtles are, are underpowered. Three of your turtles are useless. Completely useless at this place. You can't kill the guys in one hit. You, it's, your turtles are useless. I mean, these guys come all the way across the screen. It looks like Leonardo is actually somewhat useful in those guys, and that's about it. I mean, that was like controller throwing frustration. And it doesn't seem like you have much choice on, like, where you can go. Unlike some of the other stages in the game. Like, I'm back here again. And this is basically where... You get ass-raped. Because you don't have really... <laughs> what the fuck is this, man? <sighs> oh, look. It starts me back here. Fucking beautiful. And Raph can't kill these guys in one hit. So it's like you're going to get hit by them. I mean, I could try to duck them. <laughs> it's kind of lame. Oh, hey, look, I can go up. Let's see what's up here. Damn, an hour and 15 minutes long. This video is going to take like two days to export. I was really hoping this would be a lot shorter, but... I like doing these Let's Plays, but I hate the exporting process. It, I mean... I guess maybe I need to upgrade my computer. I need some solid-state hard drives. That would definitely speed things up a lot, but... It, I mean, it's, it's literally going to take like... <laughs> a whole day to export this video. I mean, it's gonna take more than a day. It's, uh... And when I'm exporting stuff, I've really gotta leave my computer at, at bay, because I can't do anything that might make it crash, or... Because it's just, it's just a whole... Oh, wow. I mean, it would just be a waste if I just... You know, something happened while I was exporting the video. You know, this Technodrome is freaking huge, considering how small it was from the outside. <sighs> I bet you that dude's gonna respawn, yeah. Oh my god, man. What the fuck, dude?
And Mike is too weak to be able to a attack the lasers. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm dying. We'll try one more time, then I'm gonna give it up, because this is just stupid. I mean, more props to people that have actually completed this game, but this is just retarded. I mean, the game's difficulty spikes. God, look at that! Oh my god! Really? Jesus Christ, man. What a waste of an hour and a half. Oh my god. Alright guys, well that Let's Play just completely turned for the worse. That was not expected. I mean, I was always under the impression that Technodrome was it. You know, and I was cool with going to another level. That's fine, and trying to learn a stage, but that, that level was just retarded. That was stupid. And the enemies take chunks of your health away. If you die with a single turtle, they start you off all the way at the very beginning of the stage. And it's... Only one turtle is really good for anything. Donatello. That's it. You lose Donatello, you're basically screwed at that stage. And I had to find out the hard way that you don't get unlimited continues. You get limited continues. Now, that's probably something I knew at one point in time in my life, but... I... Well, you know, like I said, I haven't really gotten anywhere in this game in probably over 10 years at least. I mean, it's 2013. It's probably been at least a decade since I've gotten even remotely close to the Technodrome. I mean, last week at Starland when I got to Area 3 was as far as I had gotten in a very, very long time. And that was just on a one credit run. You know, trying to get familiar with the game again and... <laughs> Uh, sorry for getting angry at the end, but I mean, that that seriously pissed me off. I know some of you guys, that probably turned some of you guys off. And, but I know there's also some, some of you guys that actually want to see me do stuff like that. And I, you know, and that is just, that was infuriating. That was just stupid, you know. My respect level for this game just like sunk through the floor because of that last level. I mean... Now, I'm gonna have to go watch some YouTube videos to see if there's an alternate path. So I noticed that there was that one area where I fell through the floor and there was just spikes. And I had to fall into them. But I noticed that the top part, uh, before I fell through, there was a sort of spike portion I could walk through on the left. And maybe that would have taken me to another screen that was safer to fall through. So. I, I, I don't know, um, I'm gonna have to watch some videos, I'm gonna have to, like, read a walkthrough or something. Uh, cause the only way I'm gonna get there again, and, and try that again, is through emulation and save states. There's no way I'm gonna waste another hour and a half trying to get there just to see if I can do it. Just to experiment. I don't have <laughs> that kind of time, and I don't have that kind of patience to, to try that over and over, like I, I, like I did as a kid. You know. I'm a grown adult. I've got work. I've got hobbies. I've got Let's Plays to do, damn it. <laughs> so, I think I just woke up my neighbors below me. That's great. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, that's it, guys. That's uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja fucking Turtles for the 8-bit Nintendo. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. I mean, again... I, I got farther than I thought I would, so I mean, I I had to be appreciative of that. I, did, I got farther than I actually ever have in the game. I've never beaten the Technodrome. Um, if you watched me fighting the Technodrome, it was you probably thought it was kind of confusing, and I thought it was kind of confusing. Like, I don't even know how I destroyed that front beam at the beginning of the Technodrome. You can't touch it, it takes up half the screen, but I guess attacking it kills it. And, um, so, and then you have to destroy the Technodrome piece by piece, and that's something I never realized before. But you don't want to touch the Technodrome until you destroy those pieces, otherwise you get hurt, and, you know, there's that time I died, so. Uh, I'm also glad I found the Technodrome right away. I don't know if, uh, it's randomized like I predicted, or if it's always in that top right quadrant sewer that I went into. I don't know. 
Uh, if someone, if, if you're watching this and you've beaten this game and you know the intricacies better, post some comments below. Uh, post some comments below regardless anyway. Let me know what you think of this game if you ever played it before. If you never played it before, after watching this, tell me what you think of the game. <laughs> tell me whether you think you might enjoy the game or not just based on what you watched in this video. Now, again, sorry for getting angry, but again, there's some people that probably aren't going to respect that. There's other people that are going to laugh about it. And, you know, I'm not too proud of tossing my controller, but... <sighs> there's one thing that uh, I've learned over the years uh, from growing up as a kid, playing the 8-bit Nintendo a lot, is... Those damn 8-bit Nintendo controllers are some of the most reliable pieces of equipment in the history of man. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had an original 8-bit Nintendo controller break on me from throwing it. Um, ever. And... Yeah. Yeah. So... Okay guys, now that my night is basically pretty much over, uh, I'm going to cut this off export this uh, audio and video track and <laughs> get my ass to sleep if I can sleep now I'm all amped up because that last level pissed me off <laughs> uh, well Chris if you're watching this time I won't be bleeping out all those curse words that's for damn sure that'll take way too long that'll be way too much work <laughs> But alright, we're at an hour and 25 minutes, so anyway guys, until next time, I'll be back with some more videos sometime soon, and uh, I'll catch you soon. Take it easy.